Hey, I'm Katie Lee and welcome to an all new What Would Katie Eat Home Edition. It's date night around here and I'm making a special summer pasta. This is a dish that we served at our wedding in Italy. It's spaghetti with fresh zucchini. It's so yummy. It's from a place that's so special in our hearts, Los Golio on the Amalfi Coast. And it's really typical in that region. They've taught me how to make it. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. And Ryan is gonna be at the bar. He's making his favorite drink and my favorite mocktail. This baby's gonna be here soon. So we gotta get the romance in while we can. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the kitchen, but before we get started, be sure to subscribe. This spaghetti with zucchini is really special to us, not only because we had it at our wedding, but I like to think that Ryan and I fell in love on the Amalfi Coast. That was our first big trip together. And we went to Los Colio, we had this pasta, we went back in the kitchen, they taught me how to make it. And we've become really close with the family that owns and operates Los Colio. We go to their farm and Antonia will tell you, the spaghetti with zucchini at your house will never be as good as theirs because you don't have their zucchini <laughs> from their farm. But I think it's still pretty darn good. Now, when you shop for your zucchini for this, look for a smaller zucchini. So in Italian, zucchini means little gourd. And the smaller ones are always gonna be a little sweeter, have less water content. The larger ones get kind of bitter. So use those for baking. Those make a great zucchini bread. You can shred them up. But when you're making this pasta, go for the little guys. So I use about three of these and get them nice and thinly sliced like this. See that? You can use a mandolin or you can just do it with a knife. This is when I need Jeffrey Zakarian mandolin hands around. He can just very quickly go through one of these. <laughs> Now I have one clove of garlic. This is not a heavy garlic dish. In fact, I'm not even gonna mince it up. I'm just gonna smash it a little, take the peel off and infuse it into the olive oil. So what I like to do, instead of preheating my pan, I go from room temperature. I put the garlic in there and then a good amount of olive oil for this dish. Really coat the bottom of your pan and then I turn the heat on. So I do this so that the garlic doesn't burn and that it slowly infuses into the oil. I've got my pasta water going over here. It's important to get that started so that you're not waiting around on it. So we're gonna cook our zucchini right now in this olive oil. Just put it right in. So the zucchini start to sizzle. And this needs to cook for about 10 or 15 minutes until that zucchini starts to break down. The way that I cook this pasta, you could substitute in other vegetables. Like this is great with broccoli even to do the same technique, or you could do it with some yellow squash. So I'm looking for that zucchini to start to brown a little bit and to break down and get nice and soft. And I think we can drop our pasta now. So I've got my pot of boiling water here, and I'm gonna heavily salt it because the pasta water is a big ingredient in this dish. So you can see I'm putting a whole palm full of salt right in there. And I've got a pound of spaghetti here. Spaghetti's in the water, the zucchini's cooking down, and they should be done around the same time. So I'll just toss them together, put some cheese, and then I'll be ready. Okay, the pasta's done. You wanna take it out a couple of minutes before the package directions would say that it's finished cooking so that it has time to cook in the pan. I'm gonna take a little pasta water first and add it to my zucchini and turn the heat up on that. And I'm gonna reserve another cup of pasta water for while we're bringing the whole thing together. 
and I'm gonna add the pasta to the zucchini. All right, I'm just gonna keep tossing and it looks a little dry, so this is a good time to add some pasta water to the mix, some fresh pepper. And now it's time to add our cheese. So turn the heat off when you add the cheese, that'll help it not clump up together. And I'm using both Parmesan and Pecorino Romano. So the Parmesan is aged longer, it's a cow's milk, and it's slightly nutty. Give that a toss. Mm, that's so good. And then I'm gonna add in the Pecorino Romano, which is a sheep's milk. It's not aged as long, so it has a sharper taste to it. I really like to have both of them. And that's how they do it at Los Folios. And then I almost forgot some butter. They always finish it with a little bit of butter. So I'm just gonna do a couple tablespoons here. Butter makes it good. It's date night and I'm eating for two. I'm gonna just finish it off with some fresh basil leaves. Just tear them and go right in. This is what really makes it and toss it together. Right, I need to do a little quality control here. Mm. Mm. Honey, that's so good. Mm. First of all, the pasta perfectly al dente because we took it out before it was done. And then the cheese is so rich and velvety and creamy. And that zucchini tastes so fresh and summery. It's such a great combo. Honey, I might just have a date with myself and stay in here with this pan of pasta. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> mm. Look at this. This is what happens. I wear my food and now the belly catches the food. I'm not letting it go to waste. I'm gonna get these on the plate. Let's make some cocktails. And then date night is gonna get started. <laughs> All right, Ryan, it's your turn. Cocktail and mocktail time. I'll go ahead and make her a ginger cucumber mule, which is one of her favorites. So we'll get right to it here. Uh, we've got some freshly sliced cucumber. We've got our lime. We've got ginger beer. We've got mint. Ginger beer does not have alcohol. And we do have an expert camera op for this one. We're actually flipping things around, and Katie's behind the camera this time. My stomach makes the perfect spot to steady the camera. I know, it's a perfect steady cam. Yeah. While I'm making your mocktail, I'm gonna go ahead and have my Negroni. All right, so first things first, we are going to take a couple slices of cucumber into the glass with um, about four to six sprigs of mint and give it a good muddle. I don't have a proper muddler, but if you have a wooden spoon or something like that, just use the opposite end of it. And smash this up a little bit. Next, we are going to fill the glass up with ice to the top. What about the lime juice? I'm, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna do the lime juice after the ice. Okay. You want me to do it before the ice? No, it's okay. You know what this you're is, doing. This is your drink. No, you know what you're doing. All right. I probably should have put the lime juice in first, shouldn't I? I trust you. Go ahead. Okay. So we'll just squeeze a couple lime wedges in here. Okay. And a can of your favorite ginger beer. It is just a more gingery ginger ale, essentially. But you could use ginger ale if you don't have ginger beer, right? You could, of course. You could even use just sparkling water in this. Yes, you could. The ginger's good for us pregnant ladies because if there's any nausea, it helps. All right. Do a nice little garnish for you. This bartender is pretty good looking. I'm gonna give him a good tip. Is that for you? Wow. 
Thanks, babe. And while you enjoy that, I'm gonna have my favorite, classic Negroni. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so grateful for this lovely date night with Ryan and to share these recipes with you. From our home to yours, stay safe, stay cozy, and keep on cooking. Cheers.